Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Jas. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Unori. Unori is a as a decentralized insurance and reinsurance protocol. Uh, our main goal is basically to ensure make insurance more accessible in the DeFi space. So if you have assets that are staked in let's say Aave or that's a that are staked in Curve, you can basically head to Unori and you can scan your wallet and we'll show all your LP positions that are there and you can insure basically any asset that's there in your wallet if you don't find the asset you can head to our uh, head to our cover portal and search for the protocol we've already underwritten more than 100 um, protocols right now and we'll be adding more to the list chainlink fits uh, into a lot of pieces in the protocol right uh, the first one and the simpler one being that uh, we use the chainlink price feeds uh, whenever an asset is staked on our risk investment portal the major use case uh, where we're using chainlink and trying to uh, benefit from its security is the protocols when we audit a protocol or when we underwrite a protocol what underwriting means is assigning a premium to insuring a protocol right when we do that in that particular process especially if it's if it's a complex defi protocol such as a borrowing and lending protocol right we would make sure to advise the protocol to use chainlink price feeds and if they actually use them they would get a significantly lower premium than a protocol which would not be using chainlink price feeds so that's where uh, we value chainlink security uh, in terms of the offering the decentralization and also the method of price aggregation the fact that um, their the validator set is the extremely decentralized as much as possible given it's an oracle protocol the asset listing procedure so if chainlink is um, is giving a price feed for a particular asset there's a lot of checks and balances that they put in there needs to be a certain amount of volume and you also are immune to a certain extent to all the front running attacks that can occur if you're using a chainlink price feed because that's like the price aggregation method that is used is from multiple sources not a single source so if somebody wants to i would say manipulate the price feed they have to do it on multiple avenues which makes it near impossible that's why we've never seen any event till now where the price feed is manipulated since our uh, launch in about april 2021 that's when we did our idio we launched the v2 of our app in april um, this year uh, we have given insurance uh, to the avail of about 10 million dollars uh, at at the height we got a tvl of about 4 to 5 million dollars so chainlink has helped a lot because pricing accurately is really important for a protocol to scale and that's what chainlink gave us we want to basically insure more protocols we have uh, launched our eth 2.0 validator uh, slashing cover so if you basically let's say you use lido finance and you put your eth and you're earning 4% apr right those um rewards can basically be slashed if the validator is not working properly or if there's a tech malfunction etc right or if your rewards are slashed because the validator um validated a transaction that was not supposed to supposed to be validated that's when the validator slashing insurance comes into play so if you hold the staked eth from lido or any other protocol uh, you'll soon be able to head to unori and insure against your rewards being slashed absolutely i would recommend and uh, I I would just I want to narrate like I would say a small incident that happened so uh, recently one of our pro- uh, partner protocols were were hacked and we tried to help the protocol uh, during that particular night and um, we also recommended them that you sh- you should go for chainlink because this incident would have been easily avoided if you would have used uh, chainlink which is which is obviously a much better um, price feed aggregator right and the next day they just they just announced it on their social media that they'll be they'll be switching to chainlink